All right, so now that we have our sheet set up and it's gray background, you can change your background if that makes it easier. We're really not gonna use this methodology, but I think it's a really easy way to explain what we're doing because the way we're gonna do it in the second version of this, the second method, is maybe confusing for those who haven't used it before. So I'm trying to make it a little bit simpler. These are about teaching how this works, not necessarily digging into the minutia of all the, the crazy stuff you have to do. But this enables you to just throw stuff in the on the object and uh, just uh, not have to unwrap anything. The other way, we're gonna have to unwrap stuff a little bit uh, just to get the same thing. And it's actually a better way, but um, in a lot of ways, this also works out great. So what we have, if you look at this box, and I've only just started to do it, uh, this, all these lessons I do or all these videos I do are just for teaching at this point. I'll probably end up doing a speed run uh, of me doing texturing things and doing full models or maybe I'll start doing the Friday uh, open sessions and just live stream it again. But really what we're looking at here, back to this, is it's a bunch of these pieces that we made and they're just separate planes that sit on top of them. Right now they're not even attached. Eventually we will attach them, but the ones we see right here I have done straight in from these. I've just basically grabbed this four and then dragged it over. Oops, shift control, drag it over, tell it to be an object, and then basically moved it to where I want it. Now, the one thing I don't like about this is there's a few kind of tools for uh, moving it around. The other thing you want to do real quick is go to your pivot point and center on object just so your life's easier. I always like to reset X form, which if you don't know where that is, it's in your tools. I just made a shortcut for it. But what we want to do is just move these into the position we want. Now there's a snap tool and you can turn on your snap tools up here and you can right click and say, I just want to use not the grid, but we'll just use the faces. And then I can try and snap this to the face like this. But you see it does a little bit of that. I mean, that's fine. We just turn our snap back off by pushing S and then we pull it back out a little bit and that's fine. I mean, it's a fast way to do it. You want to keep it really, really close to the surface though, like this. And then anything else you start bringing in here, like all these pieces um, are from here, you want to attach them together into one piece. So you have one solid piece just so you can keep track of them and everything's in the same place. At least one piece for the side. If you look over here on this side, you'll see that I have other pieces that are aligning this. Now, there's a lot of work to be done on this, but uh, I just want to try and keep it simple at first and then we'll go to the complexity next and then we'll go to the complexity of if you really want to see it in Max, we'll push that information uh, that way. So again, this is just me putting it in here and and taking pieces from this and moving it over. So if I delete this, let me save this silliness real quick. Now, before I do it, I delete it and start over and I want to point out something else. There's more up here. Um, and there's this piece here and there's this piece here, which are all these, you know, screws and stuff. These obviously are more difficult to match the angle of how you're going to do this. And that's where we'll come into the other method. And actually, most of the time, this is the method I use, unless it's a big empty space and it's like this. But we'll talk about that in a little bit. So I'm able to just pull the stuff over, move it around. It doesn't take that long and position it into place. This enables us to not build out details specifically for this object but just make little planes. And this is how we get tons of little minutia of detail anywhere we want, anytime we want it. All right, so let's get into how we do it from here. Just the kind of, I'm gonna go through just some of this stuff here, um, just to give you an idea how to move it over. And then there's no specific way I've designed this. I'm just kind of figuring it out. Obviously, if you have a concept, then it's much easier, but in this case, we don't. So we'll just, we'll just live with what we have. Okay, so if I come over here and I look at this, I'm gonna say, let's put something in here first and then I'll show you what a pain it'll kind of be to put it in there. It's not a huge pain, I'll mind you. But let's put, actually we'll put it down here. We'll take, yeah, we'll take maybe this vent and put it over here. All right, we'll try this vent first. So I'm gonna push F5, or just five, I'm sorry, go to the 
to the element mode, shift, control, click, and drag. It makes a copy. I'm gonna move that copy down to where I want it. Well, I'm gonna get out of element mode, grab this, uh, do that center thing that we do, and I get to figure out the fat, the shortcut for that. Right click on it, fat, turn F, uh, turn insert on to get out of that mode, and then move it down here. And move it into place. We can snap it, or I can just drag it till we get to it. I mean, it's really, yeah. Is there faster ways? Sure, absolutely. Is is it worth the time to to get all that stuff working? Maybe, maybe so. But um, I'd rather not complicate what we're doing at least this first time with all the short tools and the shortcuts and stuff. Trying to make this pretty simple. So I have this in here and you may ask why did I put it off to the center? Well, because I'm thinking that I'm going to take this and cut it in half, duplicate it and put something between the two vents. So how do I do that? It's just like we did before. I take this preserve UVs, I grab, go to two mo, go to grab this edge and I pull it over to like get to where I want right there. Oops, I jumped a little bit right there. And if I want, I can clean this up and pull this in a little bit. That way I don't have any chance of it being weird when it renders it. Okay. And then I will just shift drag it, copy it over here. I could even symmetry it if we want. In fact, I'll just keep it in the same plane. So you have to control shift drag. Oops. And we did that mistake, right? So turn off your pure preserve EVs now that you have it set up and move it over here. So now I've got two of them. And I'll keep it in element so it's the same object. And then I'll come back out of this and go over here. I'm going to put this piece right in the middle. So I'll go five, grab this piece, control, shift, drag it over here and say object again. Okay. And get out of element mode, grab this one and do that. I should just make shortcuts for this, but again, sometimes it's better to show. So I'll drag this over here and throw it back up against the wall and then scale it down. Let's see if I want one of those or two of those. It's probably good enough with one. And if I really wanted to, I could even scale it this way a little bit to give me a little bit more since they're wires and stuff, they may not be too bad. And there, now I have this as lined up as I can get. Basically, you want to drag it in until it starts to disappear and then drag it back out. And some of this is probably because this plane isn't straight. So you could even come back to the plane again and grab these two pieces and just say, do it in the Y, it should be, yeah. So then you can come back in here and drag it so now it disappears all at once, that's much better. And then we'll drag this one because we know those are flat, like that. Okay, so now I've got all that in there, simple, pretty easy. We can keep going around and there's some, you know, you can really come across ways of doing stuff that you like. Some things I wish I put in here, I have these um, these cuts right here are separate. I should have made a separate one of those because then I could frame it around this, things like that. Little things that you can do that'll make it better. But it starts, you get the idea, and don't worry about it clipping um, at this point. We'll, we may have to come back and tweak some of that stuff. And then I would just come back to this and say, attach this and this. So they're all together. That way, if I wanted to, I could duplicate it really easy. If I wanted to, I could you know take it off and change it up and have different versions of them. Anyway, that's basically what all of the stuff you see here. This is the symmetry. You can see I just symmetry it. So we have two of those and this is me just dragging it out from just one of these. I drag it out and then duplicate it so it's exactly the same and since it's tiling it works great. Um, and that's basically the plan for doing it this way. So the idea, again, is we're using our trim sheet and putting it on the object. If you look at my materials really quick here, you'll see I just have three materials. I have the yellow material that I use for making on these two. I have the two materials that are attached to this, which is one is the top and one is the, the yellow and uh, the gray in here. And then one is the uh, trim sheet. So that's the only three things I have on there. Um, this right here, I probably want to be yellow. Um, we can talk about that in a separate video. So we'll get into that in a few minutes.